Hello and welcome to Wheel Analysis. And first I want to thank all the nice people that support this channel on Steady or PayPal. This is part 1 of a new course where we talk about the analysis we can do with the wheel numbers. Before we start with it I can tell you, you will always find the PDF versions of these videos and the quizzes where you can test your understanding of these topics in the description below. Now the topic of wheel analysis is also known as calculus. But there are also a lot of other names, for example just analysis or infinitesimal calculus. So you might recognize your lecture here, but of course the name is not important, the goal of the course is important. And this should be in the end the understanding of differential and integral calculations. Therefore in the end you will be able to understand everything about the symbol df dx and also about the integral symbol f dx. With this you might already guess some of the topics we will cover here. First we will look at sequences of real numbers and then define what limits are. And afterwards we will talk about functions that are continuous. Then usually it gets easier when we talk about derivatives. And then in the end integrals will close our real analysis course. So you see we have a lot to cover here, therefore I really should tell you what the requirements are for this course. Indeed this is very simple to say, I can put it into two words, you just have to know the real numbers. You don't need much else, if you know how to calculate in the real numbers r, you know everything to follow this course. And in the case you don't know the real numbers, that is not a problem, because I have a whole video course about them. In Start Learning Mathematics you find everything you need and the important videos are the ones about the real numbers. Therefore it might be sufficient to look at Start Learning Wheels. For us here we will take the axioms of the real numbers as our foundation. Indeed they are not so complicated, we just have a set with two operations, addition and multiplication. And also with an ordering such that we have all these properties here. Roughly they tell us that we have a field of numbers that are also nicely ordered. Which simply means that we can visualize the real numbers as the number line. And the last property here is the completeness axiom which talks about sequences. But don't worry, we will talk about sequences a lot soon, therefore you will understand this axiom in the end. However, what we need immediately from the beginning is the so called absolute value of a real number. So you see, it always gives us a positive number or zero. In other words, it measures the distance from zero to the point x. And soon you will see it's very important that we can measure distances to do real analysis. That's what the definition of a limit or the definition of the derivative needs. Now what you really should know is what to do when you have two numbers in the absolute value. So they could be combined by multiplication or by addition. For the multiplication nothing special happens, you can just split it up into the two absolute values. However for the addition this is not true, there we just have an inequality. And this is called the triangle inequality and we will use that a lot. Ok, I think that's good enough for a short introduction here. In the next video we will start with our real analysis course by considering sequences. Therefore I hope I see you there and have a nice day. Bye.